Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel Avid Science is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find over book employees. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I am going to say the SQL schema as well as the Pandas schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called employees with three different columns, employee ID, name and department. Employee ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row contains information about an employee and their department. We are also given a second table called meetings with five different columns, meeting ID, employee ID, meeting date, meeting type and duration hours. Meeting ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row represents a meeting attended by an employee. It can take values like team, client or training. We are asked to write a solution to find employees who are meeting heavy employees. That means employees who spend more than 50% of their working time in meetings during any given week. Assume a standard work week is 40 hours. Calculate total meeting hours per employee per week, Monday to Sunday. This is very important. That means a week should start on Monday and end on Sunday. An employee is meeting heavy if their weekly meeting hours is greater than 20 hours. That means more than 50% of the 40 hours typical work week. Count how many weeks each employee was meeting heavy. Only include employees who were meeting heavy for at least two weeks. Return the result table ordered by number of meeting heavy weeks in descending order, then by employee name in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. Here we have five different employee IDs, their names and departments. And let's look at for employee ID 1, that is Alice Johnson. So we have June 5, 6 and 7, I think they should belong to one particular week. So if we look at this, so what's the total duration of meetings? 8 plus 6, 14 plus 7, that is 21. So 21 out of 40, that is more than 50%. Similarly, for 12th and 13th June, should be in a same week. So 12 plus 9, that is again 21 hours. So for two different weeks, this person, Alice Johnson, is more than 50% occupied in meetings. So that is meeting heavy. And therefore, employee ID 1, that is Alice Johnson, engineering department should be in the output. And that is what we have. Similarly, we can go ahead and do that for other employees as well. So to solve this question, what we first need to do is from the meeting date, we need to extract the week such that the first day of the week is Monday. How can we do that is let's go ahead and build that. So from this table called meetings, let us Firstly, return everything. So select star and then we need to calculate or extract the week out of it. So week of the meeting date. Now here is the trick. The question says that you need to start the week on a Monday, not a Sunday. If you just do this, it will by default take the value zero. So here usually by default you have a value zero, which is called the mode part of this function week function in MySQL. So zero means start on a Sunday. We don't want that. We want start on a Monday. So we need to use one. Now what if the question says start the week on a Tuesday? So you cannot go ahead and do two because zero and two both starts on a Sunday. Like there are definitions to it. So if the question says, okay, can you get me a week starting on a Tuesday? Then what you need to do is from the meeting date, subtract one day so that Tuesday becomes Monday and then you when you use this entire function so basically it will make sure that the week is starting on a Tuesday but that's a question for another day here we need to ensure that the week starts on a Monday so we simply go ahead and do okay give me the week starting on Monday and let's alias this as week Monday okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at our output, let me just drag it to the left. So we have the weeks and then what we need is for every employee ID, we can group by the weeks, then sum the duration hours that will give us, okay, how many total hours in a week this person was involved in meetings. So what we can do is let us go ahead and do this group by the employee ID and then return me the employee ID and you need to also group by the week, right? So this entire thing, copy this, paste it here. So 
so for every employee and every week do the sum of the duration hours that is going to give you right let me just bring it down so that is going to give us the meeting hours okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at this output you have employees each of the weeks what is the total number of meeting hours now we can use the same thing to actually calculate whether this week was meeting heavy for the employee or not how can we do that let's use case when statements so case when your sum of duration hours right so this entire thing basically the total meeting hours divided by 40 right so that is if greater than 0 0.5 that means more than 50 percent then you assign yes else you assign no end the case when statement and let's alias this as meeting heavy okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so what do we see here is we have that okay if it is more than 50 percent so you have flag as y else you have no right okay once we have this information then what we need is we need to only keep employers who have at least two or more meeting heavy weeks how can we do that let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression what i'm going to do is keep only those rows where meeting heavy is equal to y that means for that particular employee those weeks were meeting heavy and then you group by the employee id and keep only those employees who have at least two or more meeting heavy weeks so count star greater than one let us return such employees so employee id and the count star becomes so basically it will give you the count of weeks that were meeting heavy for them so count star and this should be aliased as what is required in our output meeting heavy weeks so let me just copy this paste it here let me go ahead and run this let's see if we get all those employees who are meeting heavy at least two weeks so if we look at this we have employee id one and four who had two meeting heavy weeks but in the output we also need the employee name and department so either you can save this entire thing in another common expression too or we can just go ahead and do that same thing here that because we need to get the information from the employees table so we can just simply perform a join so ct left join the employees table aliased as e on c dot employee id is equal to e dot employee id and you need to make sure because now employee id is both in ct and employees so you need to make sure that hey get this from c or common table expression also group by c dot employee id and then we also need the name and department so basically you need to also group by e dot employee name and e dot department and you also need this in your output so just copy it paste it here and just bring this down okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so even though this says accepted this is not complete yet if i just drag it to the left so you have employee id name department and meeting heavy weeks the question also says to return this sorted in meeting heavy weeks descending order so if i go ahead and do order by meeting heavy weeks in descending order if there is a tie by employee name in ascending order so e dot employee name in ascending order let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to see pass all the test cases or not so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes somewhat tricky question the first thing that we had to do was extract the week and make sure that the week starts on a monday so we learned about how can we do that right and then once we had that weeks assigned then we calculated okay how many total hours for that particular employee in a particular given week is being spent in meetings 
when you have that you, uh, we also created a flag that if it is greater than 50% of the typical 40 hour week then yes else no we save the entire thing in a common table expression then what we did was we simply grouped by for each employee id keep only those employees who have at least two that is more than one heavy weeks meeting heavy weeks and we also got all the information quiet from the output so employee name and department etc and we ordered by meeting heavy weeks in descending manner and employee name in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video